Just, just put into words how much of an influence he was in your career. It, it was a, uh, it was the major influence really. He's the one who, who taught us how to play football the Manchester United way. Um, taught us how to handle ourselves on and off the pitch, um, along with others. You know, Brian Kidd as well. These, these kind of people. But Eric was was special. Um, yeah, it's a really sad day, um, and all our thoughts are with his family um, at this sad time, really. Was there a particular moment or something that he did, Paul, that you can reflect on that sort of summed up the way he was as a coach and a mentor to, to you and that generation of players? Uh, I, I can't think of a particular time. There, there was many times when he told you how it was. Um, you know, if he was doing well, he'd be the first one to pat you on the back. Shake your hand, tell you he was doing well, and if you if he wasn't doing too well, you, you knew about it. And I think that that's what probably prepared us very well for the manager. The manager was exactly the same. He was, you know, if praise was needed, he'd give it you. If it wasn't, then you, you'd know about it as well. So I think that preparation from being 16 to 18 was ideal for us, and it, it made us ready for everything that that came our way. Well, I saw an interview today where he described you as a genius when it came to football. How would you describe him? A genius as a coach, um, like I say, he, he taught us everything we knew um, or know, and just the way he delivered it as well. It was especially he could be a he, he was a tough man, really tough man to play for. But like I said, that's that's what made us into the the streetwise players that that we became. And obviously, he, he became ill, but I believe you guys did you go and see him over at his house as well? And what was that like? Yeah, look, it, it was nice to see him. Obviously, he wasn't as well as he had been um, over the years. He was he was struggling a little bit. He's um, it wasn't nice to see, but nice to see him, but not nice to see him so so poorly, really. Um, yep, and it, it, it was sad. You, you you have to say that, but you know, hopefully, he, you know, his family can can get over this. It's uh, such a difficult time, and all our thoughts are with his family at the minute. First week in the job, what have you learned? Um, how to train 27 players. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really do that on the FA course. Do you? <laughs> no, no, no. You normally got nice little numbers, yeah. That, um, I've enjoyed it. Look, it's been three or four days, um, different challenges, and I knew it was going to be difficult coming here, but you know, the most important thing to me is I've got a, a really good squad of players. I've got three or four coaches in there in the coaches' room who have helped me massively. I know I've got everything to learn about this job, but so far, so good. You don't have much to learn about the club. Sometimes managers walk into to clubs, they've got to learn the names of the players and the stands and things like that, but this is your club. I guess you know the names of all 27 players, do you? I'm not going to test. Is that a test? Uh, no, go and test me, I probably would. Um, <laughs> Who's the reserve left back? <laughs> I've got a few of them. <laughs> um, no, yeah, obviously, I, I, you know, when you there's a chance of taking a job as well you do your homework anyway as every player every person would whether you know you're at a club you've never been before or you're at a club like Oldham which I knew so I felt like I knew the players straight away I knew like I say I keep going back to I knew there was a, a really talented squad of players and coming in watching training for a couple of days that, that only confirmed it and obviously the game of the night four really good goals that didn't surprise me I know they're capable of these things and the, 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 the challenge now is just to keep that going You've always been an Oldham fan, haven't you? Did that remain when you were at United? Well, I, I, when I was a kid, I was a United fan, really, but my dad was a big Oldham fan. So my dad, it was a lot easier to come here, a lot cheaper, uh, a lot closer to home. So I became an Oldham fan, yeah, and it was exciting to watch. It was good football and the Joe Riley. You know, it was attacking football, a style of football that has gone right through from me being a kid to, to what I am now with Alex Ferguson as well, very, very similar styles. So who are you on the playground? Who am I on the playground? Yeah, I was. Which Oldham player were you on the playground? Andy Ritchie. Yeah. yeah. Andy Ritchie, Frankie Bunn. It's last no, I don't know about that. Um, I, I, look, we're all there for each other if you know, we've all got different experiences. Um, me playing wise, not so much now. I've been here for three or four days and probably six months if, if I'm still here. Um, then I'll have different experiences to the other lads and you know, I'm sure we, we can help each other along the way. Now this level as well, I mean Sol Campbell's just started, it, it's, it's becoming a fashion isn't it for you guys who played at the very top tier to, to start at the bottom? Yeah, Sol as well took a, a difficult job on, but we, we, we just want to be involved in football, we, 
you know, for five and a half years, I, I, I wasn't really involved in the day-to-day -day life of, a, of being a football manager or a, a coach or a player. And it's something you miss desperately come, come a Saturday afternoon. You, you know, I spent 20 years as a player trying to achieve something, come the end of the season, and all of a sudden that, that goes away. And I've got the urge now to to want to help some players, want to help a football club and, and, and try and achieve something with, with a group of players that I like. What are you normally doing on this? Yeah, you, you almost become like a fan and and that's what I was, really. I was just going to watch games uh, uh, as a supporter and you, you know you can't influence it in that way, obviously. Um, and I, I, I'd missed that, I wanted to be, you know, like as a manager now, if I'm working on something on the training field and it comes off on a Saturday, it, it will give me pleasure, just as much player, p pleasure as a player when I was training stuff on the football pitch and it, it, it you know, on the training pitch and it comes off on a, on a Saturday afternoon, so that's what I wanted wanted to do. Hopefully that will happen. I know it's very early days. I, you know, I had no influence really on the game on Tuesday. The players were already prepared for that game, um, but hopefully in the next few weeks there, there will be some influence on the team. <laughs>